to budget airsoft reviews. This is first review. And I'll be reviewing GLS SMA XMA Airsoft Gun. See, this is two tone because I'm not UKRA registered yet, unfortunately. And I don't see the problem with two tone in the first place. It looks fine. Okay, so this is a spring weapon. Best thing about this is when I bought it, it was only £20. Now it's £24.99, which isn't quite as good, but it does come with a lot of extras. Normally it has a bipod, normally also has a mill dot scope or red dot scope, and there's also a mock silencer and outer barrel come with it. But as you can probably tell, this is my own weapon, and I've had it for a few months, and so far I've managed to break most of the things because I'm like that. I broke the carrying handle, I broke the bipod, the red dot scope I'm afraid isn't very good, it's not very bright, you can't really see it uh, when you're out in the sunshine. Uh, I've also broken the barrel, really. Uh, it's not much longer than that, it's about that much longer, which is basically nothing. Um, but yeah, this is an ambidextrous rifle, it has safety here on both sides. Safety, 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 safety. Uh, that's fine. That's fine to fire. That's safe. Fire, safe. Uh, also, cocking handle, which is this big black lever here, comes off as you can see. Goes right and it goes left. And you pull it all the way back and let go. And you can do that right handed and left handed with much. If you're left handed, uh, when you fire it makes quite a nice noise, or I think it's quite a nice noise. Uh, you get a nice echo inside the chamber and it's quite, it sounds quite powerful, sounds quite ah, butchish. Um, <laughs> butchish. Um, there's rubber hanger here, or hand grip here. It's quite comfortable, I could hold this for a very long time. Also, the rubber book cover here is also quite comfortable. Uh, the entire gun is plastic because it's only £25 now, not including postage and packaging I think. Um, the stock is adjustable but it's very weak and I've managed to break that as well and it comes out now. Uh, there are three levels if you can get it back in. There's the shortest which is that and then the second shortest which is that and then full length which is like that. Not much of a difference but it's mainly I think for those of us like me who are short in the arm. Um, but if I was you I would just put it, set it how you like it, set it how it's good for you and then just leave it alone because it will be quite sturdy then. It's sturdy-ish now but it still wobbles. Uh, if you really want to you can tape that join up uh, other things are sights. This is back to front. I apologise because I put it in wrong. This foresight is fully adjustable for wind. It can move it from left to right just with your fingers. And the rear sight, shit. The rear sight pulls up. It has four settings. So that's setting one. You can just about see it over. See over. The setting two, setting three, and setting four. Now, the best thing I like about this rifle is if you do manage to get it open without breaking it, which I don't recommend, recommend unless you have a lot of experience with handling weapons and opening them up and stuff, uh, you can upgrade the barrel especially quite easily and the spring does come out eventually. Uh, and it still works when you put everything back. has hop up, um, which is normal, and hop, which is about as adjustable as it gets unless you go inside. I don't recommend going inside because you probably will break it because there's no instruction manual or anything like that. Uh, here you can see there's two little holes for screws to go in. That's for your riz, which it does come with somewhere. Um, yeah, somewhere in there. Comes with. And that's about it for this work. I feel best thing is definitely the best thing is it's 24.99. You do get two magazines. Uh, magazines are quite nice. They have little hooks here and here. If you clip them together, they clip together quite easily. Uh, you can clip them one upside down, one up if you really want to. If you're that strange like me. 
uh, that I prefer not to. Also, it's quite easy just to push them in. Try not to do this and smack it as hard as you can because eventually you will start breaking the mechanism. So don't, don't do that. Um, but yeah, once it's in there's a virtually no wobble, which is really surprising for a gun. I guess you can see that most of the wobble is the whole gun's wobbling from me holding it. Um, yeah, it's also quite strong. You can hold the entire gun upside down in this magazine and shake it. Doesn't come out. Um, yeah, all in all, I'd say this is a good rifle. It's 300 FPS according to the website. Uh, though I haven't been able to test it because I don't have anything to test it with. Um, I shot this at some aluminium cans like these, and it completely tore them to bits. It's quite powerful, quite accurate already. Though a tighter barrel makes it much, much, much more accurate. Uh, it's got a pretty tight barrel as it is, but you know. You can easily adapt it to be a sniper rifle with the Rizvale for a scope and new barrel, maybe even a new spring if you really want to. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. It's a good, good weapon, especially for £25. It's, I'd say, all in all, comparing it with other guns, it's an alright gun, especially if, uh, or comparing it with other spring rifles, it's okay. Uh, but seeing as it's 24 99 it's absolutely brilliant. I wouldn't recommend a gun that is this cheap for um, skirmishing that's what we call it but it is skirmishing ball I've skirmished a couple of times with it not to great effect but that's more my skill as a skirmisher rather than the weapon um, but if you want a good weapon that can be easily transformed into some sort of sniper rifle for not a lot of money especially the not a lot of money part uh, this is the gun for you Thank you.